All right, we're back. Last but not least, I finished the eye. You can thank Zach for this. I appreciate his reverse psychology push he gave me. <laughs> Kept telling me I was going to paint this white if I didn't finish it. But I did. I am so happy I did. It was definitely worth it. Here we go. Let's get some varnish on this bad boy and watch it pop. I can't wait to see this eye on here. I'm going to go ahead and just paint that edge. Seems to be running dry on the one end, but it's okay. I notice the slower you move with your varnish, the more time it has to completely saturate the canvas at that point and put a nice even coat on it. Oh, good. I was really hoping the metallic of the gold in the iris of the eye would retain its reflection. I've noticed here that a little more varnish. I've noticed here that um, some metallic paints, when coated in a clear coat, it dulls them down. So be careful. And don't forget, once you varnish this, if that happens and that is the case, Go back over the varnish with that gold in that area as an accent. It'll reinvigorate the sheen on the gold. And uh, it'll still protect the painting as well. And I had to do a backstroke on that one. And last but not least, let's get that edge. This one, I already got the first one there. Now remember, don't worry about the excess varnish. You can always pour it back into your bottle. Make sure you do it quick though, because stuff likes to film up. But this concludes the three paintings I just did. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more going here this next couple days, get the varnish for you. Uh, look forward to seeing you. Hopefully get to do business with you. Have a great day. Take care.